Israeli economy has, by any measure, tanked. You know, you've got hundreds of thousands of men mobilized that otherwise would be at work within the framework of the Israeli economy. Uh, so I think Israel is being has been placed on life support by Washington. We're pumping billions of dollars into Israel uh, at this point, not so much for military assistance and support, although some of it is, but to keep the economy afloat. So the first question is, how much longer can we do that? Well, if you listen to Janet Yellen, we can do that in perpetuity. But anyone looking at our financial condition at this point and our own economy raises questions about just how long that can go on. If, if that were the case and Yellen was right, we would continue to send hundreds of billions of dollars to Ukraine. And I think it's pretty obvious that that period is over. We cannot afford it. Yeah. So that's the first thing. Can't We can't afford it for very long. Uh, the Israelis can't afford it right now. But I think from Mr. Netanyahu's vantage point, this is the time to strike. He's got unparalleled power and influence over us that he probably also realizes will not endure forever. So what he's got to do is, is press ahead with the plan to remove the population from Gaza. And that's what you're seeing. Now, is he going to try and recover the hostages? Of course. Is he going to try and weed out and kill Hamas fighters? Of course. But that's like picking out a school of fish in an ocean. So what's your solution? If you can't get to the school of fish, you drain the ocean. The ocean is being drained. We're not going to be able to provide the kind of support that guarantees Israel's survival as we were in the past. We, we no longer have the military power. Now, somebody can say, well, we have a nuclear deterrent, nuclear power. Well, uh, perhaps there are people in Israel who have convinced themselves that we will launch nuclear weapons at Iran or Turkey or Egypt or Saudi Arabia, anybody who dares threaten the existence of Israel. I don't think so. I, I think the proverbial red line for the Muslim world has been crossed by Israel. Israel is now finding itself at war with the entire Islamic world. Israel is going to be isolated from a large part of the rest of the world. We are going to end up being Israel's only true friend, period. How, how, how much can that work to sustain Israel is the question, and I'm not sure it can. I, I think we may see lulls in the fighting, temporary ceasefires, then I see, think it will erupt again and again until ultimately the entire region is involved and crushes Israel.